All right, so here's the floor uh, all unwrapped. You're going to get two pieces, a smaller piece here, and then this larger piece, which will go in the front of the van. But here's all the hardware that you need. You just need a Phillips head screwdriver, a number 13 socket wrench. Um, each van will have these series of D rings in the floor, and that requires a T40 star bit just to go in there right like that. So these will have to come out first before the floor goes in. Other than that, this uh, hardware box will come with six bolts, six washers, 18 machine screws, and six floor caps. So let's go ahead and install it. First step is you want to actually install the smaller piece first because it's going to have this under lip here that the bigger piece will join over the top. So here we go. Simple as that. You just want to kind of lay it in there for right now, then we'll get the bigger piece. All right, so we got our front piece in now, and uh, what we actually recommend is that you kind of secure the front piece down first and then the back piece. So you're going to open up your hardware kit here, take out a bolt and a washer. And we just kind of line the these holes up in the floor with the holes in the van. Now this is what you took the D-ring out of earlier. So we're just going to kind of drop it into place here. Screw it down a little bit. We'll take our socket wrench. Tighten it just a bit. Now there's four bolts to this first piece. So we're going to go around and kind of do the same. now that the front piece is kind of secured you haven't tightened those bolts down quite yet uh, we're just gonna work on this uh, back piece here I kind of slide it slide it into place you want to make sure that these tracks just kind of line up evenly the back piece just requires two bolts again we're gonna just drop it in and screw these in just ever so slightly Taking our socket wrench here and tightening up just a bit. Right, so we have our cargo tracks here and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of place them in. Now you gotta make sure that all these holes in the floor or in the channel line up with the cargo track holes. Again, place this guy in there. So what this does is it kind of squares everything up on the floor. Now you can go ahead and kind of bolt down each piece. Okay, so now that you have uh, each floor piece bolted down securely, now we're going to move on to the tracks. Now you can either do this with the Phillips head screwdriver, or if you want to you know, use a power tool and kind of expedite the whole process, you can um, if this is available to you. Either way, you just kind of dump out your hardware from your hardware box and get to work. And there you have it. Now all there's left to do is just put the floor caps in and then you're done. Pop them right into place. And then that's it. Floor's done.